Hi, my name is Tara and on behalf of fontbundles.net I will be showing you today how to use vinyl on coffee mugs. If you look on places like Pinterest and Google Images you will find that these days there are plenty of quirky coffee mugs out there. Sometimes they can range up to $30 per coffee mug but with a few things like the Silhouette Studio software, a menu, um, electronic die cutting machine and a blank coffee mug you can make these yourself very quickly. Today I'm going to be using the celebration bundle from fontbundles.net and I'm going to be using a quote that I found online that I think is quite appropriate being an adult in the morning. The first thing I need to do is to type what I would like to write on text onto my mug. Um, I'll be using two fonts today from the Celebration Bundle. I'll be using Carters and I'll be using Intro Blues. So the two different um, fonts that I'm using, I will need to write the particular text separately so I can change that font quick and easy. So just go to your text icon and click on it and then click somewhere on your silhouette screen. Once you've done that, you can type the first part of your text. And then center it. Then you can type the next part. And then finally the last part of the text. And center that as well because I want everything centered eventually. Once you have done that you can then select the text you would like to change into your first font. So holding the control button, the shift button down you can click on the two different parts and keep them together. Then we go to the text icon here and ensure that our text options are here on the right. I'm going to be using Carters so I type it in and then I click on it. I'm actually going to fill this in black so I can see it easy but when I go to cut it will cut the color vinyl that you choose. I'm also going to change the line color as well so I can clearly see what I have written. The next thing is to change the second lot of text. So again click on the text you would like to change, go to the text icon up the top and for this I'm going to be using Intro Blues. And I click on that and you can see that my font has come up there and I can fill it so I can see it clear and change the line color as well. Now I'm going to zoom into this particular font here and you can see it's actually quite thin at parts. So I want to slightly adjust this. By doing that I need to go to the offset window and click on it. I can then click on the offset and you can see that that's quite a large offset. So I'm going to make that a lot smaller. And the best way to guess this is to, is to see when the separate dot here for your letter I is not touching then you know that it will be a little bit thicker but you also will have each individual letter and you can see that with 3 mil, 0.3 of a mil I've changed that so I'm actually going to apply and then I can actually remove my font. Now I'm going to highlight that to show you and group that and then I'm going to fill it so you can see the difference. And if you have a look there that does make a slight difference and so when I actually cut this it will be easier to peel off and put onto my mug. The offset button is a great way to adjust thin fonts and make them slightly thicker. So I can now delete that and I'm just going to 
empty that out to make sure they're all joined together because when you cut you want it to be into one word which it is and that's great so I'm going to go back to the way it was the next thing to do is to line everything up so highlight everything go to your align window and align center okay now the next thing we need to do I can see that this particular text here is a little bit too um, far apart so if we ungroup them highlight one word group that back up highlight the second word group that back up I can now adjust the distance between each word I'd also like to make the word adulting a little bit bigger so I'm actually going to highlight them again and align center because I want to make sure it's in the right spot and at this point it's just a matter of making your your text look um, more pleasing to the eye so I'm going to ungroup this one as well highlight all the coffee and group it back highlight because and group it back and then I can drop that a little bit as well and when you're happy with how your um, your typing looks you can then group all of it together and I'm going to group that now like so at this point we need to measure our mug I've measured my mug and it's 10 centimeters tall and half of the size from the handle to the opposite side of the handle is just over 10 centimeters so now we need to adjust the size that we're going to be cutting our image because the mug I'm using is actually a um, angled mug it's not a flat faced mug I'm actually going to cut this slightly smaller so I don't get any air bubbles so as my mug is 10 centimeters tall I'm going to make this around 8 centimeters to give me a little bit of gap at the top and the bottom so let's move that down to about 8 centimeters you can see here the centimeters is changing and that makes it six centimeters across so if you want you can make it a little bit wider which because it's going to stretch when you go around the mug and then it's ready to cut so pop it in your top left hand corner so you don't waste any vinyl and now it's a, and if you have a go across to your cut button and I zoom in for you you will see that the red lines have highlighted which will be where you'll be cutting now it's just a matter of going to center silhouette adjust cut settings popping it on vinyl now if you're using silhouette brand vinyl leave the um, the size that it has if you're using vinyl say for example a real oracle I would recommend you pop it up to a 2 because it is slightly thicker and leave it on speed of 5 and thickness of 10 always remember to do a test cut first to make sure that it does cut through your vinyl but does not cut through the backing paper I hope you've enjoyed this video please check out the rest of the blog post as it will show you how to actually apply the vinyl itself um, and how to ensure that you don't get any air bubbles and what to do afterwards so that when you wash your cup the vinyl does not come off thank you